What's up, Keys Moz fans? It's David Fine here. I'm back in Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge in North Key Largo. That's a paradise on Earth, minus all of the biting insects, guys. It's August, and the, the bugs are very buggy. Lots of salt marsh mosquitoes, lots of deer flies. No CMs I haven't felt too much, but hopefully I won't need this thing too much longer. But I, guys, I'm setting up uh, some of my lights. I got my generator purring, and we're gonna go and see what is flying in North Key Largo in the month of August. Guys, who's ready for some tropical moths? Let's check this out. All right, mercury vapor bulb, guys. It's got the mercury inside of that little tube. And once this ballast gets electricity, pumps it through to the socket, converts this mercury vapor into the beautiful blue UV light that attracts all the moths. I like how it looks, guys. I'm gonna plug this thing in real quick. I'm gonna show you what this is all about. So I'm gonna plug it in. Oop. I'm gonna plug this in, right? Okay, guys. What's this look like in here? That thing's getting fired up. Can't wait to see what comes to my mercury vapor lights, guys. The day of the deltoid. That almost looks like uh, a blue. Yes. The geometrids, this family of moths that land with their wings folded behind their back with a butterfly. Yeah, I noticed that. So what are the other ones? They fold them. Yep. Look at that. See, I gotta get inside here to get the identification. It's a big female. Don't know it off the top of my head. It is cool. Look at that. Geometrics are cool. Right, so There's so much go. detail on there. There are details. All right, let's see if I can get some good video of. Ooh, we got a green geo here. Oh yeah. Got a green geo. Oh, the geo. This geo here. Huh? This little pyralid. It's kind of slow so far, but stuff's starting to roll in. I was going to say, I'm seeing it quite a pickup a little bit. Stuff's the little ones are coming in. Maybe the big ones are falling. What's that on top right up there? The little... No, the one that was just on Yeah, the... it was uh, some kind of uh, true bug. Yeah. Like, uh... Let me get a little carpenter moth. You got something back here that's a big one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty big. Oh yeah, that's uh, oh, that's my him. little. He's on, my he's on your finger. Hey, Look at there he is. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, bud. By the way, Brant's making his debut on Keys. Yeah, this is Mons. my debut, and I guess oh. I'm gonna be a dragonfly. You're gonna be a oh, odonata. That's it, man. All right, the the, the United States smallest sphingid right here. That is Cartethia grodii. That's awesome. Yeah, cool. Let me see if he'll let me show you his yellow hindwing. Sometimes they're a little shy. Yeah, he's going to be shy. Good for you. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And then we got some kind of stink bug of some sort. Or is that like a... be a stink bug, actually. <laughs> I don't I have no idea sound? I have no idea what that is that sound? I heard that sound earlier I'm like I don't I have no idea what that is is it tortricid lots of micros a little little longhorn beetle here cool. 
the the world's smallest geometrid, Idea pervetipinus. I might be butchering that name. That is a tiny bug, guys. Tiny, tiny. Um, I want to see if I get some. Where did the? Oh, this is a cool moth. So this guy here puts his four wings up and folds them and then the hind wing he slaps down over his abdomen and hides his abdomen very strange uh, resting position that this moth has very interesting moth okay let's try and get a better video of you Pretty cool bug. Yep. Let's see if I can get any video of one of my favorites. The Hemorophilia Diva. This is a diva right here, guys. One of my favorites. Tiny, tiny little moth but it's got all the colors of the rainbow on its wings. Ah, a bug just flew up my nose, sorry. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, try again. This moth has all the colors of the rainbow on its wings in iridescent fashion. Let me see if I can get the focus. Yep. Try again. There we go. Just turn it a little bit, and you can see the colors. The blues, the purples, the silvers, the yellows, the reds. The hind wing is red, and they, they hide their hind, ring, hind wing. But they are absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful moth right there. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very cool. Forget the genus name, the species name is Mopsalis. Mopsalis. Pretty bug. Very tough to mount if you try to get the specimen. Oh gosh, they're delicate. Insanely delicate. You gotta have big fine piece moss hands. Oh boy. Well, I've butchered my share. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought I was going to put you on the Yep, there's another diva. And then there's this little fly. This is like a long one right here. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. There is a Spodoptera of some kind. No. What are you? I don't know what you are. Tell me your name, sir. This is what we call BBM, guys. Basic brown moth. <laughs> I, like I forget. It. I forget what it's called. I like it. I think it might be a Spodoptera, but it's very... It, it, it lacks any kind of strong patterning on its wings, so it's very tough to tell. Uh, let me see if I can get you guys an ID. Hmm. All right, folks, this is a Synclora, and I don't recognize this one. It looks a little different than anything that I've ever taken down here. It might be one that, and I'm just having a brain fart, but I might take this specimen and try to get a positive ID on it, because that is looking a little different than ones that I've seen so far. So that's cool. Now here's another Synclora here. This one I recognize. Yep. Okay, so this Synclora I recognize. I don't, I forget the species name, 
This one's larger and it's got some interesting little markings. So I'm gonna pop him in a jar.